Welcome people, you don't know it's your girl Ivani Sensation and I'm here about my prison vlog a video that you've been asking me for like every second, every hour, every minute and I promise you guys I would give you this vlog video so remember to like, subscribe and share my video Feel free to leave a comment below and follow me on Instagram. And may I do the vlog video without no makeup, without no mother's I do it all of perfection. So stay tuned. Hope you like the video. Hope it motivates someone if you're not getting yourself in a trouble, if you're not getting a prison. Yes. Give me you. Everything else can't wait. Give me you a hope from not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord. I 
times that I have charges, one of them I didn't go to court, whatever, whatever, they have to bring me in custody, whatever, whatever, whatever. Guys went to the police, before them even interviewed themselves, I know they were cops. Me they just go to them a police, right? And me not go really, I, I think before I start my video, I'm not going really talk much, I'm not going to speak proper English in this video. Because the video is going to mean a lot to me and I just want to express my feelings so I just have a talk and raw pass what to do. Get out everything the right way. You see me? Yes, so um, when them come for me, me they know that I have a iris already because at the end of the day, in November, in late November, I had a breakup and the breakup there, they licked my chip like, after the breakup there, I ne just never have a care in the world. You know them way there? And I found out that I don't have to make because a man make me get catch. Or I don't have to make because a man make me not go court and then something there. But as I said, you can't have a person feel until you're in, a, until you're in a, the person um, shoes, as I should say. So, I didn't want to break up. I just had a break up and I did go through a lot. Mentally, physically, emotionally. I go through all of it, I didn't stress, I didn't depress, when I feel like I just me alone in the world, I just feel lost, I just feel empty, I feel hopeless, I just feel like my life ends, I just feel like I don't have nothing, I have nothing to live for. I'm just telling you how I feel, because I really like, I really, really love the person. You know, I had a breakup and then I know some of that court for God, I said, you know what, now I'm going to court. I just go right up and I enjoy my birthday. The mom catch me and so on. The moment I put foot out of my house for take a nap for it, but to go out there, I start vlogs, I start the videos. I know the police are for me and I come in and go out there. You know, they send out a bench warrant for me. I reach at the hotel, I start video the hotel, I live, I just start doing my thing. I just never care. You know, them way they and Walk behind your eye, but we are going to just walk in case you run or anything that close. So, you are going to just go downstairs and you are going to go around the back and you are going to go the blue care. You are going to just do it nice and easy. If you refuse, then we are going to just embarrass you and all and pull you and mangle you and all sort of things. So, you know, I follow the rules and I do the thing, the man. I <laughs> go around at the back and some say I can make amber tips with you. Go around at the back and go in at the car and do as it say. When I reach now in care, my God, is the policeman in care, my friend at this station of Falmouth named Chalk, Chalkstone, or some Falmouth police station, my boy, yes. They didn't want to lock up my friend and I can tell them, my friend, I have nothing to do with my case. I just hotel my boy, bring her out because she have no them search them on her phone right through because I'm charged by cyber crime and they search my phone, they ask me every if they ask me what kind of transaction they make, make everything. You know, them go on with themselves. Then let her go. She go alone by herself and they carry me. I'm still did at the station. Then I remember on the police station come for me and carry me to Bridgeport. When they carry me to Bridgeport now, they have me over to when I go to Bridgeport, I spend one night at Bridgeport. The next day I end up go court. When I go to court now, they say I never have this paper. They say, I tell them everything you know, they say I never have this paper, a bench warrant paper, because when I did at the station the night, they give me the paper. But to me, I listen to my bag, you know, I go to court, I don't remember to the people, I'm supposed to give the judge or give a police to go up to the judge or whatever, so I never remember no more. So my daddy and my go up there, I said, I'm supposed to have one paper or with a bench warrant paper, like to show proof, say, yeah, I'm supposed to skip bail and whatever. But never have it to show and them say I can't go back to the judge because I get late so I have to go back over the prison, over the station and come back. When now, my daddy now and when, when my daddy downstairs now, I realize I'm going to have the paper. So I show the policeman and say, no, the paper you don't talk about. So I say, it's too late but I still have to try to see if I can see the judge to see what she has to do. She has to give me some bail or she has to bring me back to the prison because I'm at the station and I need what she has to do. Anyways, I don't know and I meet this girl in the cell. I'm not going to call her name because I don't want to be charged again. 
So we meet this girl in the cell, she had me that she come from over the prison. You see the judge already about the remand her back and everything. But remember me the end up me go over the prison already. It's not the first time I've been. It's not my it's um I went over the prison already. The reason being for this same case that, that I was on the cyber crime. The first time I get locked up, them they charge me, grant my bail, but because something did wrong for my paper, I did end up to go over the prison go stay. So I did no experience over there already and no over there already. You understand? So I know the tricks and I know the trade and I know everything about the prison. So when I done them, I did have I did have forty thousand dollar farm. I did have forty thousand dollar farm to pay my lawyer. I never have a lawyer, but I say, when I go court, I just get a lawyer so they can represent me. You understand? So me and this girl down there and I have talked to this girl and whatever and she said she know me. I don't know her but she said she know me and whatever. And she had tell me that she did over the prison when me did over when me did come over there and whatever. I don't believe her and thing, but me know the tricks and trades for the prison. You can't have no money over there. You can't spend no money over there. Like it's illegal. You can't make officers stay with money, but you know you can't hide and have money saved. You can buy weed. You can't have money and buy any little thing, the trafficking thing, uh, whatever. So me had said to her, said, all right. I don't really want to carry my money and hand it to the officer then. You understand? Because why do I want to buy a little weed or buy a little nothing over there? I can't go have it. So I don't want them to have the whole money. I don't want to push up the money in the budget. So I said to her, I said, if she can carry over the money for me, because I know that I'm going to go over the prison and bench for her. And when they come and bench for her people, you don't go home. They now not put you at risk to give you a bail again. Pay up, run off again. The man is either the man tell you to pay a fine or you get a road sentence or something like that. So, me didn't know that so I have to go over the prison. So, you know, so I give the girl my forty thousand dollar and tell her, say, you see, if Kayla, my friend named Kayla, they get locked up because Kayla get locked up before me and Kayla did the court that day then. But, I never trust Kayla to give me money because I know Kayla is a little thief, she can't be trusted. So, I never trust her to give me money. So, I said to her, I said, all right then. When you go over the prison, you one girl in sky my money to keep come and no sky I'm a trust sky to give sky my money for keep. So she said, Alright. And she me know that she get remand for two and I know her date and everything when she gets set up and a very long remand. The girl or my give my money. You know something give the girl my money and the girl end up go over the prison. When I come downstairs now, the other female them I tell me say, I should give the girl my money. Cause she a thief and that she charge for thief phone. And thief money, I start fret now. Come here, see, I'm only 40 toes that I'm have to pay my lawyer. You know, I start fret and I start. But knowing me, I have a lot of police friends, I have a whole lot of friends, all the people will love me, people will rape me. So I talk to this police lady, and I tell the police lady what I she said, that's reach up because I'm too conniving. Why never just hold on to the money? And, and when you go over the prison, you give the officer them since you say, I have to pay your lawyer. I mean, I said, John was start. Anyways, the police lady did have links over the prison to this push to, to one of the female officer them. We work at the front desk. We them we work at the front desk. We like at the officer they search you before you go in to see if you have a contraband for you. Anyway, the police lady called the up the in the officer will work over the prison. So tell Nikki say listen. We have that McCall here. So tell the girl say listen. Just give officer the money. Just take a five girl out of the money and give officer my money because I'm money. the money to pay my lawyer and I really need it. And based on all of me and here, me and start, me, me start fret, you see me, me start fret because I said, John won't start the big prison. I have to go back, back at the station. Go back over the station now thinking that never end up for court the next day. One week I come still there at the station. Two weeks I come, I'm still there at the station. The police can come. And them say, after certain hours, they're supposed to be free if police don't come charge you. But that may be different because I take me sit there and say, no, so I can't do it for long. They, 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 they start crying, oh, I start crying, I start fretting. I say, I don't have my phone for call her. And they're like, illegal, they can't stay from a police station and do you with, but in a custody for call over the prison. Who they at the station I have no link to who they over the prison? Start fretting on me, I say, well, let the girl spend my money, I start buying every day, me I think about it, I say, I have to pay my lawyer, and I come here, I say, if me need to keep my money, we could have beg one of the policemen, and get a lawyer for me, and the lawyer would have come, see me at Bridgeport, 
And for me, I get that early and put this and I have a lot of represent me. But then, 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 then after the two weeks come now, back my girl court, then my man in custody again, so you know, so the judge had me to go over the bigger prison. Go over the bigger prison now, lucky enough when I go over the bigger prison now, as I enter the prison as she that must see, because she, she didn't want to fight. I heard of something and the, the sofa did not tear her got dark hole. I have this place named dark hole. When you fight, they put you at this punishing block. Out of the population, you can't see none of your inmate them. You just lock them. So she did move with her mattress and everything. I'm saying, Nikki, where's my money there? So I'm saying, Nikki, where's my money there? She said, Quick, girl, quick, girl. Me and I'm going to see you. I'm going to So I right, then. I said, Nothing to her. So I'm going to go to the sofa. I'm going to go to the super now. The super call her and tell her, I said, any of my guys want to get back her money, we'll care, I got arrived. I got arrived, who's supposed to be by right? Who's awaiting trial? When I get sentenced, you're supposed to be arrived. And who get sentenced, you're supposed to be at the big prison where we, where we normally did. Where I normally did. Anyways, cut long story short, I'm going to get back my money and all of that. And when it comes to the task now, my daddy and I get after December, I'm supposed to go to court in January. When I go to court January now, she remind me back until March 3rd. Start crying now, start crying, start feeling depressed, start feeling stressful. I said, January, sorry. When I have to tell her I'm not to do. When March 3rd come now, you know, I have to wait all long. When March 3rd come now, I go to court. Corona come, I can't go to court. I start crying, I start. I can't go to court, Corona come. All these girls dead over the prison. Um, Covid come and kill her. The prison just be traumatized. I just feel depressed. I just feel hopeless. I don't know what to do. I don't have a phone over there. Them all the ones get called for call your mother. Thank God for the one and two good officers. Them. You know, some officer will hug you up. Some officer will talk to you. Some officer will just sit down and hold some serious. You know them officers that will just make you feel like you're the home same way. Sometimes I feel like I'm the home same way. Sometimes I feel like I have freedom same way. It depends on how some of the officers them treat you. While some of them treat you like dog shit. Trust me, some of the officers them treat you real bad. They act like they want back me. Huh? They very disrespectful. They tell you that make you, make you come here and that they make you come here. So if you never want there, you should do it. You don't sit there. Them just Nagging them, remember this officer tear my clothes off from my life. When they check muster, you have a thing named muster. When they check muster, everybody, them check for notes everybody in the dam and then them cage your black dog and put on padlock and lock with. Normally, you're not supposed to leave your clothes on the line when muster check when you have to go in. Like after four o'clock, when I lock them time away, you know, so you come back out till the morning. So I said, Mom, I'm take up my clothes. She said, no, I must start check my key and go out there, but I didn't see the sofa, which had a bigger head. So I asked her if I can go take up my clothes, then she said, yes, then I leave. So when I go out there, no, she like, she had an arm, so I flash her off, and I run now, I go take up my clothes, and the woman jog me, tear my clothes off for me, and I now forget some of the man, some man did come to fix the, the bathroom, because the bathroom, they broke down everything, and the man come. And the lady tear my clothes off of me and the whole of the man they come to fix the bathroom and see my breast naked. And I tell her I feel a way them people. It's no matter who you be when you go to prison, it's like there's nobody. You could have been the richest person, the famous person. You, you could have been you, you could have been a billionaire, chillionaire, you could have out there in a row. When you go to prison, they treat you like there's nobody. Some of the some of the officers. Are there. And the inmate them themselves. Them treat you like that, them bad men, them, them just not have nothing about them and eat over the bad, 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 bad. And I'm still not talking about bad because at the end of the day, you know where you live in a reality. Anything can happen, you can end up back over there, right? So, anyways, I didn't know when the lady tear up my clothes, whatever, whatever, tear up my clothes off for me. Feel so embarrassing. Hey, I'm going to tell you, sir, boy, I just show my fans and make me a video because if it was for me, I would even make it because I don't even like think back on them something. Anyways, I start feel depressed and them little things there and every day I cry and I wonder if I go ever come out and them things there. Meet this girl named Fiona. <laughs> Fiona. Meet this girl named Fiona. Oh my God. Fiona was always there by my side. She always motivated me. She always tell me, say, 
good writing still with a mix of chemicals and a mix of always a cuss and everything there. She was, you know, she's just, she was my best friend over the prison. When I say best friend, she was my best friend. From the point of remand, from January till March, Fiona was always my best friend. Fiona is a lesbian, no? And then the good thing, yeah, I had to tell you that because I'm going to come with something now. Anyways, March come now, COVID come, lockdown, can't go nowhere. After March, April, we still can't go to court. In a May now, when we forgot court, the judge catch COVID, we still can't end up with court. So you know what I mean? I said, that oh, long, same way. Anyways, I start get close to feel. The girl, I'm in her charge with Kayla, I'm in her have a couple, couple um, breakouts. Come tell us she lying on so me and I always a cuss. Me and I fight one time over there. We go through a lot. I mean, I know if you don't know the gang of five them when they beat the little girl when you kill and one of them did attack me over there. Like me and I are in a talk. We used to, we normally be friends. One of the girls and we normally friends and me and I fall out and she just pick for me. I don't know if I choose she just tick and she mighty. She always a pick for me and I always say they are going to hold my own. You know, she cuss me, cuss her, but I don't want to let nobody lick me. And I don't want to let her cuss her, she bounce me. And I yeah, walk down and I cuss her, and I say, Kayla, you know, say them girl, I'm going to talk about my friend Kayla. And I say, Kayla, you know, say them girl, I really want me to get myself in a trouble and let them want me to stay. I'm afraid to fight, you know. I'm afraid to fight and stab a girl and I will get sentenced over there. And I say, boy, I keep myself out of trouble. You know, say, and my friend, I tell what I'm saying, the girl bounce me, you know, say, that's why I tell you, so you see the girl lift from way up our top cell and come down on the bottom cell and lose on iron. So I have a wig still because I have a scar. I have a scar on my head. She, me. she used on iron and she licked me on my head with the iron. Lick me. I don't really want iron, iron thing. It's like one of a board thing. You know, we always use it. We have a board thing and we put up a shelf and look a flat board. She used it and she licked me and it hit me. I don't think she normally eat me from my head, but she licked off from me and it licked me on my head because my head did. Every time a girl licked me first and girl threw juice in my face. Girl threw juice in my face. Nothing no come out of it. Girl licked me on my head. The board. Nothing no come out of it. You see, officer licked me with my body already. Nothing no come out of it. You see, some people have cussed some officer. And when they cuss them, they now lick them in the But I don't know if for me, it then just have one pick for me every time I talk about it. I just get mad because I just know say a girl just throw juice in your face and you're afraid for your fighter because when you look, they might care you got punishment. But remember them fighting with one phone. Because the people fight and they care them got dark hole and they come back up in less than one week. I'm missing me a cussable phone. Come in the have one phone and one girl say she now make me she now put me on the charge the charge. I mean a cussar, I'm go to the office and say if me not charge, she not charge cause for illegal. I miss they tell me who you got a dark hole and then have me a dark hole two months. Two months for just cuss for one phone. Missing my daddy and the soup and I like me none tall. I tell you, if I feel the stake of this girl with him, Fiona, I don't know how much I cope in a prison life. When I break down, I see me, I forgot to. And it just hurts me, no, say. I got prison and I ex experience some bad things. And my life, some things were happening in a prison where I never want to happen like me, end up turning lesbian. Like this girl, I mean, if you are watching just the truth, you know, I love you, I'm going to make my vlog video for talk, right? Remember now, Fio, one time Fiona come to me and say, Vanny, I'm free, me, come here, tell us I love her, and I'm a best friend. And she come to me and say, Vanny, I'm free, me, and I say, Pray, oh. And she said, You like me, them way, and I said, No, I'm not like you, I'm just like you as a friend, I'm a best friend, and I'm not close, we have my last, I'm going to take it, I'm going to hear. And I know, I said, after she, from she asked me that question, they said, I think about it deep and I just start end up like the girl. I don't know, me don't know what happened, I just end up start like her. It's so come, me and her talk. Me and her start talk and everybody start lose respect for me. Some officers that did like me start lose respect for me. You know what I mean? Because they must say, you're always saying I'm going to be lesbian and you're turning out to be lesbian. 
I know something when we do one, I regret it every single day because you know, I just never want to go there, so I see myself in a prison, I kiss girl, I see myself, I have sex with girl, I start disrespect, be an officer, I just start be rude. Sometimes I tell them I wonder if I ever, ever come out. I wonder if I ever get sent out. Sometimes I tell them I say, John, I say, I wonder how much years I ever get. And then I say, they don't give me like a two years. I wonder, why do I ever see my mommy again? You know, I look at every woman and love so much. I wonder if I ever, ever see him again. Sometimes I tell them, my mother say, why, why, why do you something up here reach me? You know, them weird, they me just put in the time. I lose hope. I remember one time, you know, I wait till everybody is asleep. That's why I said it. See, depression is an elevated thing. I remember one time I wait till everybody is asleep and I take my sheet off of the bed and I tie it up. Tie it up in my cell. Because all the cells stay, you can draw the curtain and you can draw the curtain and you have your grill, you drop your grill and you lock your grill. Remember one time I took one sheet. Tie it up on the wall and we stand up on my bucket and we just a pretty big evil and I say, I'm not going to hang yourself. And then I'm just thinking about it and I say, why hang yourself? You hang yourself today. You know, people ball today, tomorrow, they're happy again. Now hang yourself and then I start thinking about my little nephew, my love so much. And I say, oh, my little nephew would have coped for no same auntie bed. Oh, my niece would have coped. Oh, my mother would have coped. Oh, my fans would have coped. Or oh, some people were more motivated for that coke, you know, they make a way there. And I say, you know, I'm going to do this, at the end of the day, if I do get sentenced, there's a date set for me to go to my yard. There's a date set for me to go to my yard. I remember Kayla come in there and catch me there. <laughs> Kayla come and catch me and Kayla start crying. Kayla say, Vani, don't do it, don't do it. And da 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 I remember one time, she um, she um, get depressed. You know, because me and her did charge for take one phone and uh, it was my idea and uh, me make sure get locked up and I remember one time I came to cut up her head, you know. She had cut up her head and she had to show her dead and the way she had cut up her head, she had cut up her head really much, you know, and we threw her. She had to fast, she had cut up her head and I said, I said, Kayla, we know what to do, why you cut up your head? And she said, she don't want to live no more, she want to come out. She don't like it, and I said, I said, wow. She cut up her hand, wicked enough. You know what, Kayla, and Kayla cut up her hand. She said, why, I'm going to start crying, I said. I said, it was my idea, and if I did not for me, she would be there, I in a prison. I remember a month of a time I cried, I cried every single day in a prison. Some things that I experienced, some things in my face. So I tell the boy, God is good all the time. If I never forgot, because I got beat you know. If I never forgot, I would stand up by my side and tell me, this is not the end where I do a foolishness. You know, they look away and they like, like, you know, if you go to a party and your mother said, don't go. And Yourself, I tell yourself, go. In the good way, your mother is you come like your mother or the God. Or obey your mother and your father so that you, your days may be longer and dearer. And in my head, I tell myself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Kill yourself. And on the other side, I say, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Really? And how I cope with it, I just, how I always cope with no, say, I'm going to come out. And even if I don't come out, I fret myself. You have a lot of people there where. Um, they depend them 35 to life, or they depend them 25 to life, and them we just always I say, look for them people here. Them get to life, and them charge a murder. I'm not charge a murder. I'm not charge for gun. Them not find me guilty. I plead guilty for a cyber crime. The lady will charge me now come a court so. I have a good way to prepare for your fight. I just always I tell myself that I always I pray. I just always, you know, I just, why am I tell the star? And 
it's just it was just a rough journey over there. It's just rough. You're just over there, you lock up, you can't see the road unless you go upon um escort to go doctor, hospital and something really dear. They repeat them cook, I'm not gonna lie, them cook nice foods over there for Sunday you get fried chicken, baked chicken, you get mango juice, <laughs> you get mango juice, you get pudding, you know, you get sometimes like we all mothers there and then the go special day they give present. As I say, you have one and two officers that treat you good over there and uh, so forth like that. I miss when I come home, I miss my just have a cut that video shot because we just really get emotional. I miss my friends them over there, like I have two good friends, I have Fiona and I have Khadija, I miss them. And for just now say the crime with them do, them not really ever see road for now. They never see road but not for now. So it just really pain my heart. And as I said, I cut the video shot. This was not planned. Never want to break down. I just did want this be a more video up and more motivating to you but as I said I really I get very down so I just kinda wanna cut the video now. But I just want to know say prison prisoner make for dog. You have a lot of good people in there. People where as I say rich people, educational people, you have a lot of good people in there. So prisoner make for dog but when I just keep out of trouble. Nobody do nothing for God prison because they are telling us might be someone who not be able to can cope the way of me cope. Someone who probably not going to be able to can go through it like how me go through it. And everybody can manage stress. And everybody can manage depression. And everybody can manage with me. Man, some people that have been killing themselves already. And 